Vapes? Do, yeah, do elementary school kids buy a lot of vapes? I didn't know that actually. Yeah, I don't know, Silio, I saw that. How's my, uh... Good. Roundabout solved a bunch of issues. Roundabouts are kind of awesome, man. Yeah, there were some hints today that they were make or that they were gonna turn the StarCraft universe into another genre altogether. Phil Spencer wants Blizzard to become more like an independent studio it once was. Blizzard President Mike Ibarra says before he had to run many decisions up to the chain of executives at Activision, slowing everything down. Going to Phil and saying, hey, can we do this? I think we would look at me and say, go run your studio. Ibarra also says there's less pressure on Blizzard now that they're a much smaller chunk of the overall company, allowing them much more freedom to experiment with less mainstream projects. And StarCraft could make a comeback in a different genre altogether. Yeah, probably a dating sim. I feel like that would make the most sense. Yeah. Like, genuinely, though? Do you think, like, if you look at the recent Blizzard releases that have come out over the last couple of years, do you think that could make a good StarCraft game? I'm not sold on it, dude. I want to believe. But, um... The main goal for Blizzard these days at least over the last couple of years, right? And obviously now Activision is no longer as big because everything's part of Microsoft now, but the main goal seemed to have been to make as much money as possible, right? That seems to have been the main thing. And with that mindset, I don't know if they're ever gonna be able to produce another StarCraft. Phil Spencer seems like a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he's guy. He's like, oh, hundred million dollars. Fuck it, do it. Right? Like he seems to be. Uh... Don't come to Phil Spencer with your two million dollar project, okay? <laughs> guy has bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Which is an interesting thing, I guess. But yeah, maybe at some point they will uh, make a StarCraft again. So we have 159 students over here. We have 23 students in the high school. Not bad. There's a little bit of high-density residential demand again, guys. It drops so fast, holy crap. Like, you zone in one tiny little bit, instantly drops down, right away. It does seem kind of nuts, though, to be at the board or, like, you know, one of the executives at a company as big as Microsoft. Like, how big are the decisions that those people make during the average meeting? Seems pretty chill. Yeah, I mean... They've been making some big, big stuff. Mm. 
At least my few commercial shops over here have now got people that are capable of doing the job, it seems. That's kind of nice. Making Windows 12 with microtransactions. <laughs> but I thought Windows 10 was the final Windows, guys. What happened? I was promised it was going to be the final Windows. I'm still on Windows 10. I have no intention of really changing it either. Hmm. What's going on, Plunderer? Thank you. Yeah, I would get Windows 11 now if I were to reinstall my computer, but I also really don't feel like reinstalling my computer. Maybe I should do it at some point, though. Because it's been quite a while. It's been like a year and a half, two years or so. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty nice these days. I do like graphically what it looks like, yeah. You don't have to reinstall the upgrade to Windows 11. I guess that's true. But I kind of like, whenever I think about installing Windows, I think about just doing a full clean sweep of my entire system. Is that an old man mentality? It might be. Like you're allowed to just update your Windows without formatting your, your drives? That's, that's legal? Because that's the way I've always done it. There's gonna be all kinds of leftover bullshit, guys. What do you do, Motlesis? What do the what what do the sys admins of the world do when they install Windows? Do they just let the update run? Or do they do a clean install? How does it work? Upgrading to Windows 11 will wipe everything if you choose that option. Mm -mm -mm. It depends. Okay, well. I'm making a load of money right now, uh, Tilly. Um, what did I do? I put parking lots everywhere. Parking lots? And then I charge people 35 bucks plus for parking. It's insane. They parked the hell out of... Uh, $25? No, 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 no. Boom. 38. You're actually upgrading a, in place a server this week. All right. But usually you decommission the old and replace with the new OS. Okay, right. I think I'm gonna get rid of the industrial bit over here too. This was really just a temporary part. These people have been shouting that they need more uh, education for a while now. It's easier to start clean. There is something about having a completely fresh Windows installation. I like having a completely fresh install sometimes, yeah. But then I also have to reinstall everything, and that I don't really want to do. But the internet is pretty quick. You did it like five months ago? Yeah. There's a great website for reinstalling your computer that I've always used called Night Night. I think most people are probably aware of this, but... In case you're not, this was not something I was aware of for like a very long time. Basically, what you do on this website is you just click all of the programs that you want to install, and then you click Get Your Night Night, and it will install all of them. Which is one installer, rather than like having to go to every single one of them and do it manually. I was like, holy crap. This blew my mind. I didn't know that, that was a thing. Yeah, Night Night. N I N I T E. It's a neat little program. A lot of these softwares are not really needed anymore, though, these days, I guess. 
but still neat. Definitely does speed things up. We have a work computer here. And the thing needed a new image put on it because it didn't have everything in it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it takes a long while. Are people really installing that much software? I mean, it used to be good back in the day. I don't remember. I don't know if it's fucked these days, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I liked it back in the day when I used it, but it's been a while. I don't really install that much software, I don't think. I have tried keeping my current computer pretty clean, so most of the stuff that I have on it really isn't that crazy. Oh god. I was looking for my programs list, and then I realized the programs list is called apps. <sighs> <sighs> Um, yeah, there's not too much on it. It's actually pretty small. Hmm. Would it be fine, though, to just straight up upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without it deleting all my shit? See, I don't trust it. I would have to make a full backup of all the important stuff that I have anyways. I'm sure it would do it, but, like, I would still want to have a list of everything. I already do that, but, like, I haven't updated it in a while. You did 10 to 11 without any issues? Hmm. Just format your C drive and you'll be fine. Right. The problem with formatting my C drive is that I would have to set up a bunch of my streaming stuff and whatnot again. But to be fair, I have all of it Backed up and ready to go. It doesn't take that long. It's just that the odds of stuff breaking goes up. Plus, what's exactly the reason why I would want to upgrade to, you know, Windows 11? Other than higher number equals better. Higher number equals better, though. I think that's a fair thing to say. I wonder if it's gonna bite me in the butt if I just get rid of all my industrial bits over here. I'm gonna unzone it all. I would also like to remove my chemical plant up here. should get Windows 2000? I guess that is the biggest number. That's clever, man. I didn't consider that. I will upgrade to Windows 2000, guys. I like it. Garbage is piling up. Hmm. Mm, I don't know about that. I think if at some point I'm gonna reinstall Windows, I would definitely go with 11, but I don't really know of one upgrade. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. I did also need to. Ch I think I, I I needed to change something in my BIO settings in order to upgrade to Windows 11. There's like a thing. I don't remember the thing though. What's going on, Nissan? TPM 2.0? Is that just something I can enable in my BIOS? I think it's just something I can turn on, right?
Why was that a thing again? I don't remember. No, it is not on by default on my system, which is why I was a bit hesitant, I think, to turn it on. My motherboard is from uh, 2021. For some people, you need to upgrade your BIOS as well. Upgrading my BIOS? I don't know about that one, Chet. I can be pretty brave, but I don't know if I'm that brave. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Upgrading your BIOS? Ugh. Oh, new BIOS is now have it on by default? You should probably upgrade your BIOS anyways. I keep everything up to date, but not my BIOS. I do not upgrade my BIOS every time there's a new version of it available. Absolutely not. I think it's probably just something I have to tick on, to be honest. I think I just, um, I just, I flipped the switch and that would do the trick. You know what though, I've had a lot of problems with my computers in the past, or not a lot, but I've had like, compatibility issues every once in a while and just stuff that I didn't really want to deal with, and this computer, knock on wood, has been rock solid. Zero problems at all. It's been really good. And I really don't wanna, you know. Oh yeah, no, there, I do have a GUI, yeah. Every motherboard these days has a GUI in the BIOS though. I'm running a 5900X. I think. I'm running an AMD? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Are you an Intel fanboy, Echo? Oh, I forgot about that. God. I did actually update my full setup page. Yeah, I actually, uh, I updated the whole list. So this is exactly what I am using right over here. So I'm running a 5900X, yes. The photo is a bit old. Um, but that is essentially it, yes. I don't give a shit about either AMD or Intel. I, I've run computers with both, they've both worked great. I just go with whatever I can get more value out of at the time. Because they always go back and forth. What's going on, Lunik? I do definitely still play StarCraft, yes sir. I tried taking a photo with both of the cats, but you know how hard that is, guys? Like, I lucked out with Milo wanting to sit still like this. Also, does he look different to you guys on this picture? He looks like a child to me. <laughs> like, he looks like, he looks like he, uh, he's, he's just like going through puberty right now. I don't know what's going on here, man. He looks much younger here to me. I actually don't know if Lauren still uploads a lot of photos. When's the last one? Four weeks ago. <laughs> I kind of miss when she was taking pictures every day, to be honest. Hey, what's up, buddy? What? Oh, hold up. This was Echo gifting us up to Niss. Oh, as Frog. Nissan. Thank you very much, Echo. And thank you also, Bunny Warren, with the tier 3 resub. I'm always hoping to see more cat pigs. Appreciate you, man. Welcome back. Hope you're doing all right. You guys should post a response on her photo, guys. Ask her to post new picture. Just, just post. 
New picture when? I think she's kind of losing the. Uh, yeah, yeah. We need we need a little bit of response. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of. No, no, no. I'm not engagement baiting. No, no, no. Oh man, it does sound like it now. No, that's not what I mean. I just want to have new cat pictures. All right, sure. Loco about to get banned. <laughs> oh no, never mind. Don't post. Don't post. Don't post. Don't post. Don't do it. Ay, ay, ay. Haters. Loco about to get banned. Loco, I just watched your PC build video. Where is your ESD kit? My electrostatic thing? Do you want me to wear my Lifestrong bracelet? <laughs> Remember that? Remember that? The Verge? <laughs> Dude, when I think of that stupid bracelet. No, I don't wear those bracelets when I build my computer usually, no. I usually build them butt naked unless I'm streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just build your computers naked. That's the solution, dude. What? What seems to be the problem, officer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can, you can be more stable. You can be like a tripod. Ex absolutely, yeah. The Verge PC build video. Dude, this is such a... God, I hated this video so much. But it's also one of my favorites. I just want to show you guys the part where he puts on his live stream bracelet. <laughs> oh no. Where is it? Where is it? There's gotta be a moment here at the start where he puts on the bracelet. Um... What? There was a shot of him putting on the bracelet. I don't know exactly where it is. <sighs> Anyways, he basically wears one of those electrostatic bracelets, right? To make sure that stuff doesn't get fried. Which is not a bad idea. However, he doesn't connect it to anything. So, <laughs> he just wears the bracelet. <laughs> And that's it! It's not connected anywhere. It's not offloading anything. It's... <laughs> it really looks like a Livestrong bracelet. I don't actually see those anymore. Is that the 44 second part? Okay, let's see. 44 seconds. Anti-static bracelet, which is to protect you and the parts. These are the parts so you're gonna need, <laughs> but more importantly, before... It's so stupid! Come on, man! Screwdriver in it. And last. Oh, uh, the whole tool section. Oh, God. Okay, let's go to the tool section. A thermal paste applicator, an Allen wrench, some tweezers to tighten up the wires. No, I don't want to be. I don't want to be an elitist, but t tweezers? A Swiss Army knife. A Swiss Which Army knife? Has a Phillips head screwdriver in it. A Swiss Army knife that hopefully has a Phillips head screwdriver in it. And last but not least, an anti-static bracelet, which is to protect you and the parts. These are the parts you're going to need, but more importantly, before we get there... <laughs> God. Yeah, he's not fighting static, he's fighting cancer. That's what he's doing with his life stroke bracelet, man. ay 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 It is so funny, though. <sighs> so anyways, I had that build guide up on their YouTube channel for a while. Until the entire tech community caught them out on it. And then ultimately they ended up removing it. The whole video is just amazing. Yeah, it's an absolute gold mine. There's another moment. So, okay, if you've ago. ever built a computer before, I don't know, dude. There's a lot of good moments here. But I remember when he's icing the cake. Uh, where, is the, where is the icing of the cake? So there's a moment where he, um, he applies thermal paste. I don't know, do you have that moment as well by any ch- Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we, here we go, here we go. This is a great, great moment. So, he has a CPU cooler that already has thermal paste pre-installed. Thing lines up, and we're gonna clasp down on it, and we'll be good to go. 
So we're about to apply thermal paste to the CPU. Every CPU cooler actually comes with a bit of thermal paste already neatly applied in a circle around it, but it's usually not enough. It's good, essentially, PC building practice to have a little bit extra and layer it on top of the cooler, CPU. Look at him! He's icing the a cake! The final portion is to add the CPU cooler. He literally is, he's layering it on. He is. <laughs> Guys, that is, that is really bad advice. If you've never built a computer before, that is not what you want to do. Anyways, it's a great video. It is an absolute internet classic. I do not recommend doing that. Nope. Glop in the middle. <laughs> they did fix the situation. Normally, I'm the guy. Oh yeah, Linus did a did a video on it at some point. Oh, he did a video together with the guy. That's funny. Is this the the redemption arc of the Verge video? Honestly, smart. <laughs> it's a good PC building habit, yeah. <sighs> Did they say how much better they do it than Gamer Nexus? Ooh, bunny. Very current. I haven't heard much about Linus ever since uh, the accident. How are they doing, guys? Are they doing alright? What? Oh, is that a new thing, Echo? I I thought that was a problem with uh, the review thingamajig. Like Gamer Nexus called them out. That's the last time I heard of it. There's been more stuff. It's really bad. Oh God. Okay. It all blew up at once. All right. Well, I'm not. I'm not aware of the recent drama. No. All right. Hope they can get that sorted. Oh no. Yikes. All right. That's messed up, man. That's an article from a couple months ago at this point. Yeah, I'm, I don't really follow internet drama very much. That's kind of crazy, though. I'm streaming on both YouTube and Twitch. Yes, sir. Anyhow, guys, um, I think this is where I'm going to be wrapping up my playthrough for today. I'm not exactly sure where I want to take this city. Like, I'm having a good time playing this game, but like... I feel like there's not really that much for me to do other than just scale up more of the same. There's so many of these little pop-ups and I find it very frustrating that I can't fix them. Like, I can't adjust rent. I can rezone some of this stuff, sure. So apparently the way you fix it is by zoning in smaller blocks. Because apparently 3x3 three three housing or 4x4 four four housing doesn't have that issue. So you just kind of go over it all and then paint in the, the, the... Yeah, I guess that's the idea. Um, the one thing I am kind of excited for, and I think what I do want to try out is some of these high-end structures yeah nuclear power plant would be kind of fun to mess around with um you know as you do naturally we have some other big buildings over here uh we have the space station international airport yeah just mess around a little bit with some nuclear you know no big deal an airport would be kind of cool 
So there are still some stuff to do, but all of them are basically locked behind development points. And in order to get more development points, I need to grow the city more. Oh, hello, buddy. Are you okay? I like how the game gives me a warning when there's one tree on fire. But when there's a tornado, the guys are silent. Just a note. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. Don't, no, 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 don't let it reach, don't let it reach this. Please, no, don't go over there. I don't want poop all over my city, okay? Kill the bridge if you need to. I can just replace it, but not the poop, okay? All right, I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna save it here. I kind of feel like this game is headed in the direction, just like we had in the past with many other games that have recently come out. Where, like, the early game is really fun. And then it just sort of tapers off a little bit towards the end. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Ah. Oh, I forgot about that. Last time I played the game, which is a little bit ago. Um, right. Just don't... No, 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 no. Back off. Those are my only skyscrapers. I've been hard at work for those. Happy birthday, Papa Logo. It's, that's a while ago, but th thank you, Thunder General. Is it my birthday again? It's just a little tornado. It's fine. It's alright. I'm not really too concerned about it. Guys, I have noticed that I am losing a little bit of interest in playing City Skylines 2. I've been trying to think as to why that is. It's just that I kind of feel like I have unlocked most of the things that I can do. And I feel like 80% of the time, I'm fighting the game's mechanics. Yeah, ultimately it's a sandbox game, obviously. So there is no real goal for me to aim for. So my previous goal was to survive and make money. And ultimately we managed to get that done. Mostly by putting up a whole lot of parking garages. I've built a bunch of monuments, like for example this thing. Observation tower right over here. We got some tourism going. The main thing I can do right now is scale up, right? So, like, I have a really large map that I can still... I, I can take this entire map. Well, I mean, I guess most of it is water. But, like, the idea is that you build a city everywhere. So that's what I've kind of started doing. I've started taking up most of my big buildings right over here. And I'm trying to create more of, like, a suburban area right over here instead. This is the natural expansion, right? I have a statue over here. Don't know who it is, but it looks kind of nice. We build our own roundabout. It's all pretty cool. Um, performance of the game, as you may have already noticed, there's like slowdowns every once in a while. Plus, I'm still playing this in a 1080p window. I've still got the game locked at 60 FPS. They have done a couple patches since last I've played, but it's... Well, at least in my initial uh, impressions here, it's still nothing all too crazy. Yeah, I can still do public transport and all that, but like, I'm kind of... I'm wandering around a little aimlessly. So I think one thing I definitely want to do before I wrap up this playthrough is try and get the space station going. So there is a thing in this progression menu for a space center. The Chirp X Space Center is both a space museum as well as an active command center and rocket launch platform. These attract tourists and increase the effectiveness of industries and offices. I wonder what Chirp X is a reference to, man. I have no idea. So I don't currently have enough development points for it. In order to get enough development points, I'm gonna have to level up my city to huge city. In order to do that, I basically just have to build more stuff. I just have to build a whole lot of junk. And we'll scale up the city until this little circle thing over here fills in. And then we'll have enough progression points. So I guess we'll start with an airport. And then hopefully later today I'll be making the space center. And I guess that's kind of all I really want to still do in the game. Like there are still a lot of things that you can unlock. But none of them really seem to be that impactful as far as gameplay goes. Maybe I'm mistaken, I don't know. They'll definitely add a lot more, though, in the future with DLCs and whatnot, I'm sure. Yeah, so I, I don't have enough development points yet for the Space Center, but we can try out air. The air category in general. So there it is. Um, let's see. 
It is under transportation, and then we have the airport. Did I not already build this thing? I think I already did build this thing in the other world. I was trying to decide if that was City Skylines 1, which I did play recently as well, but I think it's this one. A small terminal and runway that provide the city with flight connections increases the attractiveness of the city and raises the effectiveness of offices. Okay. Oh yeah, there will, there will definitely be the uh, DLCs in this game, yeah. Hey, look! They fixed the tree situation, remember that? Now we have little baby trees over here. These were supposed to all be burned down, but there was no way to see what it looked like. Huh, okay. So we have to decide a location for the airport. Yeah, I wanted to get skyscrapers going, but skyscrapers are also kind of painful though. So I need to make more offices apparently. We'll do some more offices. I can most definitely do that. Trying to go with some big boy offices. Offi is what we call that in the business. That's the correct plural. Maybe I can do some uh, big boy. Yeah, they want so much commercial, but every time I put down commercial, My they're like, we have no customers. Is to stay in shape. That would be a big step forward. Thank you very much, Drone Rush. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, lunges. Top three worst gym exercises. Not as far as effectiveness goes, but just in general. Seriously, screw lunges. I'm not doing lunges. I'm not doing lunges anymore. I've done enough lunges in my life. They're very good at building up your legs. They also exhaust the hell out of me, which may be why they are very good at building up legs. Yeah. Is there anybody out there that enjoys getting... Wait, is Loco getting divorced? I am? I didn't even know I was married. Hold up. Do you have to be married first to get divorced? I thought we were okay, dude. Laurent's out with a friend in Amsterdam. What do you know that I don't? Hold up right now. She said she just said she was going to Amsterdam with a friend. I just saw her like... Half an hour ago! She's gone forever? Oh no, I thought she'd be home better later. Well, I know her friend. It's a boyfriend? I uh, know, it's no, no. She has friends? I know, kinda cringe. Why does she have friends? Just play video games and be lonely like the rest of us. Cringe, am I right? Alright, anyways, we need to um, start up a spot over here where we can do an airport. I'm kind of tempted to put the airport over here, even though I know it's not a great idea. I kind of like it. Should I put the airport on the main? I, I'm assuming it creates an, a ridiculous amount of noise. So it's got five gates. It's a tiny airport, though. I think I'm going to build it over here. Playing video games hasn't betrayed you yet, unlike friends. Oof. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put it over here. That was half a million gold right there. No big deal, by the way. I mean I hope you're impressed because that was quite the flex. Oh, I hate how this game lags every time you do anything, dude. Like after now once again playing Factorio. And that game running like crazy the entire way through. It's uh, it's pretty frustrating when you play games that aren't Factorio. Okay, I'm gonna build a very long road this way. And we'll try and um, border it alongside this thing. Spoiled by Factorio, absolutely. This is a real thing, man. Being spoiled by games. I've played so many games over the years. That sometimes people recommend games to me that I know I'm just not going to enjoy. Like people in real life. They're like, hey, have you tried this? I'm like, I really don't care about the new Assassin's Creed. Sorry. Maybe it's fun. I don't know, but like...
Which road did I pick? What, what kind of road is this? Because I accidentally uh, replaced it. It's the eight lane road. It's definitely the large road. You know what? I'm actually kind of interested in a new Assassin's Creed. Maybe that was a bad example. Huh? So I have an eight lane divided road. That's the one I have right here. But it's not the one that I've used over here. Huh? These are eight lanes too, no? What road did I use? It's not a highway. It's gotta be a large road. Maybe it's because I put the trees in the center that the entire road looks different? Oh yeah, that's what I did. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay. So the road gets wider when you put trees in the center of it. I guess that makes sense. I just didn't realize that it was possible to even put trees in the middle of these things. Yeah, I've accidentally become a gaming elitist. My, ref my, my frame of reference got bigger over the years. <laughs> um... So this thing is expendable. I don't really know exactly how much. Everybody loves it, man. These people love living right next to an airport. I would not want to live right next to an airport personally, but hey, yo, if these people want it, we give the people what they want. I would very much so like to level the flooring a little bit over here, though. No? Yeah, please. I don't like it whenever there's like a little dip in the floor like this thing. I probably should be leveling the ground before I put down structures. But hey, I guess this works. Yeah, that works. And then we can use the softening tool over here to soften some of these edges up. There we go. I'm like fucking Bob Ross over here, dude. Happy little airport. You know what every happy little airport needs? A friend, Chet. I need a second airport. Mirroring the... No, okay, fine. I won't do that. Um, there is a business lounge. Okay, that's within the footprint of the structure. There is a cargo terminal and airport services. I can do a parking fee? Absolutely. How much is it to park at the local airport, Chad? It's a one-time fee. You can idle there for as long as you want. I feel like parking at the airport is just not done if you're flying from the airport, because it's too expensive. It's insane, no? Yeah, I have never parked my car on a trip at the airport. No, it's just... It's 50 a day at your local one. $60 a day where you're at. I think we're making it $50. That's as expensive as it goes. Yeah, you want to park at the airport? A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. It's dangerous this to park at the airport? Public service announcement. I have parked at the airport whenever I'm, I'm picking people up. That works. <laughs> Poor road conditions does not immediately mean that we are Belgium, Chet. First off, we're called Abyssal Reef. Secondly, don't you dare insult me with being called Belgium ever again, okay? I think I'm pretty chill most of the time, but you compare me to Belgium? <sighs> Playing with fire there, sir. I'm proud Flemish. You know, the one thing I do really like about Belgium is Flemish giants. Have you seen those? They're really big rabbits. They're like really big rabbits. My dad used to have loads of rabbits when I was a kid. He would do like trade shows and stuff with them. He would like, I don't know why, but he'd like, I don't know, he enjoyed this. And every once in a while, they would have one of these like, 
competitions for Flemish giants as well. And I always really wanted my dad to get a Flemish giant. They're like, they're like rabbits that are like three times as big as a regular rabbit. Here's, here's a lady. Look at this. Either this is a very small lady or a very large rabbit or both. But these are proper chonkers. Yeah, they're really cute. Um, anyways, I always wish I had one of those. I think considering they're called Flemish giants, they must be from, you know, Flameland or something. I don't know what it's called. Assignment say something positive about Belgium. <laughs> well, hey, did I? F I think I passed. Some of my best friends are Belgian. That always does it. It's because Fla Belgium has parts flooded, so you can check how it would look like in the future. Wait, there's parts of Belgium that are flooded? Oof. Imagine not absolutely nailing your water management. Um, so I would like to see a plane. Do I have to set up the, the route? I think I may have to set up the route for it. Yeah, passenger thingamajig. Okay. You. Go over there. And then come back. Perfect. You. Go over there. And then come back. You. Go over there. And then guess what? Come back. You. Go over there. And then come back. Then I have one more. There's one more thingy over there in the distance. Okay. I think I've set it up, no? Come on, little planes. I would love to see planes go into our settlement. Are you about to block the approach path of the runway? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll put some skyscrapers over here. Oh, 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 shit! That is the most colorful pink plane I've seen in my life. Very nice. Is it frowned upon to put um, skyscrapers right next to the airport? I think that might not be a great idea. Maybe we can do some big parks or something. Maybe like a large... Like a soccer field? Bro, I... I, I I'm so... I'm, it, it frustrates me a little bit more than I'm willing to admit that they call it, and I quote, American football field. And then the option right next to it is soccer field. <clears throat> Where do you think the developers of this game are from, chat? Ay 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 ay. Can't believe it. All right. Um That's good. <laughs> uh what was the hotkey for it again? That was a hotkey for me to like Ah, I said hotkey O for it up. Yeah. We'll do a soccer field. Ugh. Blah, blah, blah. Hello? Oh, that side has to be touching a road. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna delete these final roads. Whoa, 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 careful, lads! Yo, at least leave a little bit of space? What the f- in Locopia, we like to live dangerously. You better take off. <laughs> if you have abort, yeah, no, if you have to abort the landing or the, the take, yeah, no, you're kind of fucked, yeah. Just don't abort. It's like a double pit stop in Locopia, absolutely. Just don't, just don't abort the land, or just, just, just take off, yeah. 
All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a soccer field right over here too, I guess. Uh, we have a huge amount of demand again for high density commercial or any sort of commercial, I suppose. The only problem is that there's loads of problems in my city, and I don't really know exactly what I can do to replace most of these things. Um, it just seems to be there to be annoying. Like, I have no influence on the rent. So these people cannot afford living in their very fancy housing, but they also don't have a demand for high-density residential, so I don't really know what they want me to do. This has been a problem for a while, though. A lot of people have said that it's a bug. But, like, if it really was a bug, you'd imagine they would have fixed it now, because it's been, like, a month since the game came out. Yeah, so I, I really don't like these pop-ups, but I don't really know what to do about them. One thing I have done about them in the past, which seems to be a solution to my problem, it depends on your definition of solution, uh, is remove the houses of the people complaining. I just removed the entire neighborhood. You guys complain? Guess what? The whole block is gone. You guys are complaining? Guess what? It's gone. You guys are complaining? You and your neighbors. You better move. More complaining over here. Oh, well, you guys were collateral damage. I'm sorry. A row of houses over here. Half a block over there. Yeah, so this is not a great solution, but it at the very least gets those annoying pop-ups out of the window, which is nice. And in theory, you'd imagine that it would increase the demand for other housing, now that these people are homeless, but I don't really know. 